22 minutes before 8. And we all got smiles on our faces here. The Pancake Parlour Challenge is in its sixth year. Every year for charity, we pit one of our own against a champion in, uh, the, in the field in the name of charity. There have been some classics over the years. Uh, John Burns challenged our then police reporter Paul Bentley on a run around the town. Did you win or lose? Um, no, I didn't win. Okay. I took on uh, Darren Goldspink, the uh, umpire around uh, the town. I did, but there was a handicap event. Uh, this, uh, the last few years, it's centred around one of the buzz events or uh, interests of the year, from renovations last year to yeah. MasterChef the Master year Chef, before. MasterChef, that's right. This year, the event that captured everyone's attention took place in London. Our Olympians did a great job, but it was the Paralympians who inspired us with an unbelievable effort and a bag full of medals. So we decided that one of the, the first competitors that uh, Burns could learn a two, uh, thing or two from was one of our more decorated Paralympians in the pool, uh, enter Ellie Cole. Ellie, good morning to you. How are you doing? Very well. If you could just uh, put, maybe put those headphones on and lean into the mic uh, a little bit. Tell us, uh, just recap for us, how you, how you went uh, in the Olympics. Yeah, um, well, I went to London, you know, a few months ago, expecting to hopefully come home with one or two medals, and I came home with six, so definitely um, exceeded my expectations. Four of them gold. Yeah, four of them gold. So I won two of those gold medals with my relay team, so that was lovely. We broadcast from uh, two weeks of the Olympics, but we went home before the Paralympics started. We enjoyed the Olympics. We just thought it was a magnificent event. What were the Paralympics like? Well, the Paralympics, you know, is definitely something different. Everyone there has got a disability and a, a great story to tell. So I learned a lot of things, you know, just about, I guess, human triumph and things like that over there. Um, and had a, a definitely a great time with my team. Have you been to uh, the, the Olympics before the, and, and the Paralympics? Yeah, I went to um, Beijing in 2008. Oh, right. So I was the youngest swimmer on the team there at 16 and came home with three medals there. And then, you know, decided that I wanted to come back and win a gold. So I, I went back to Australia and trained really hard for the next four years and it certainly paid off. Right, you're going to swim uh, against uh, this man here. Um, well, I yesterday watched a YouTube from uh, ABC Television of your preparations for the Paralympics. We've made we've made one uh, of uh, John Burns's preparations, which we can give you. But do you have widescreen <laughs> TV? <laughs> Yes, I do. Oh, excellent. I, I, excellent. I, th I think he's trying to be rude. Really. <laughs> uh, so, Ellie, that's the, what's the charity you're going to be supporting? I am supporting the Sarah Grace Sarcoma Foundation. So it's just uh, started last year and I'm raising money for sarcoma, which is the type of cancer that I had as a young child. So hopefully, you know, I want to give some of those ca cancer patients another opportunity at life. And and that's a personal link for you because mm -hmm. you lost uh, part of a limb to sarcoma yourself. Exactly. So, how old were you? Three at the time. So right. quite young. That's actually how I got into swimming. I started swimming for rehabilitation after I lost my limb. So. Right, but both your parents are uh, athletes of a type, aren't they? <laughs> Self-described. <laughs> self self-assessed athletes of a type. Um, yeah, can I swim against one of your parents? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're both actually still quite good at swimming. So. Yeah. Oh, perhaps not. Uh, Ellie, uh, stay with us as we introduce uh, another competitor. We'll give you all the dates of when the pa Pancake Parlour Challenge is going to uh, take part and where it's going to take part. And that is a woman to whom we have spoken before, and that is uh, Hazel Gilby. Hazel, good morning to you. Welcome to the studio. Hi there, Ross. You were the baby of the relay team. Oh, I sure was. Uh, your relay team was, you said a, you broke a world record. I'm thinking it was about three, two or three months ago. A bit more, maybe? Yeah, yeah it might be. Uh, yeah, three months, I'd say. And we we didn't actually break one, we set one. You set one because your age group is the 360 <laughs> plus years. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> and you were the baby t of the team aged what? I'm aged... 84. Right. We, our oldest one was 97. Yeah. So we had, I had to borrow some years from her. Our next one was um, Trudy, and she's 90. Yeah. Uh, the next one, Nancy, 89, and me at 84. So added up, we just made 360. That is absolutely fantastic. Yes. So you're in, the, you're in the record books. You're not getting any news from overseas of, you know, some four Guatemalans aged 105 are not getting together to reclaim your record, are they? No, I don't think so. And it will be hard because with the FINA rules you, for re, relay records, you have to all be from the same club, swimming club. And we're, yeah. And so that narrows down the one club having 
four people that can average 360. And what's the club? That's North Lodge and yeah. the the training base is at Dandenong. Fantastic. And your uh, your charity is? My charity is similar uh, with the personal link is is the Peter Merck Cancer Research for Lung Cancer. Right. My personal connection with that is that I lost my husband. He was age 59, about oh, about your ages, uh, I, could, uh, I guess. <laughs> Um, uh, anyway, he was only just turned 59 and uh, I lost him to lung cancer. Okay, so uh, we uh, add that charity. So you are both prepared to go to Watermark at <laughs> Flintoff Street in Greensboro on December the 7th, are you? Yes, we are. Now, Hazel, how often do you, you train these days? Of my personal training, I've Armstrong. given away all the proper stuff. Um, I do a bit of personal stuff three times a week oh, and I, I swim about one and a half K each uh, swim. One and a half K. Man, yeah, hang on, one and a half K. Is that 30, 30, 30 laps? 30 laps of a 50 metre pool, yeah. Right. Now, I need you two, Ellie and Hazel, to con convince me. I have always, I exercise every day, okay? Yeah. Which is why I'm yeah. staggered that you think I'm 59, Hazel. Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, I've I always said roughly. Yeah, very roughly. <laughs> um, I I've always found swimming one of the most boring pursuits on earth. Is is it just is it boring? Up and down, you certainly get yeah. to know what a, a black line looks uh, like, don't yeah. you? Mm. Yeah, so I, I like to call it black line fever. Um, I find it one of the most boring sports, but. Uh. You know, when you're training for a Paralympics, you're not just swimming up and down. You know, you're doing different things and focusing on your technique or yeah. anything to keep. Well, I don't, want to, I don't want to frighten you two, but I've been practicing swimming for the first time just about ever for the last three weeks. Oh wow! wow. Now it is boring, <laughs> but don't you feel great when it's over? No. Spot on. <laughs> you know, spot on. There you are. See Hazel. Yeah. Hazel's here. She's the optimist. Yes. Yeah. She's the optimist. I like the reality of the athlete here who goes, no, it's shocking. But so what's your stroke, Ellie? Um, I saw a little bit of everything. So in London, I did eight events. So um, when I do train, you know, I usually do about two hours for a session. Oh, and two hours focus. I know. We've got to uh, handicap you somehow. What no, we're, we're a team, Ellie and me, the old and the young. We can we yeah. combine our ages and then combine mm. your ages and then we're actually younger than you as a team. There you go. Mm. There we go. Here's my question for you, though, mm. Ellie. Is backstroke more interesting because you're not staring at the black line? Definitely, you know. You can talk to your coach when you're doing backstroke sometimes. Yeah, but you can't see where you're going. That's why you look at the <laughs> roof. I don't know. <laughs> I, I actually prefer doing backstroke. I don't really like you know, getting in the water or putting my face in the water, which is strange as a swimmer, but um, that's why It is why a bit, I, it's I a bit funny. <laughs> uh, future challenges for you, are you going to go to uh, Rio, Ellie? Hopefully. Right. And what about you, th the World Masters Games? Have you thought about something like that, uh, Hazel? I, oh, I've swum in a few World go Masters Games. And Have you? Yeah, and in fact, I... Overseas? I, I mean, yep. I'm in the top 10 uh, for a 200 IM in the world. Top... 10 of gold you are taking on a top 10 ranked swimmer in the world and a gold and a quadruple gold medal <laughs> Oh, I'm walking the park for me. <laughs> I, I, think, I think three weeks of training is going to cut it, definitely. 